Hello, yesterday I told you how you can simply install XAMPP on your um, Linux machine. Today I'm showing you how you can do this on Windows. So first open up patchfriends.org. Then again scroll down, go to XAMPP and go to XAMPP for Windows. For Windows. But it's there it is. And then with this special go to XAMP or XAMP Lite. I prefer XAMP Lite. And then download the exe file. After you download it, you have it on your desktop in my case. Or oh, wait, wait, but download it. Just open it and click install. Now it'll install the whole XAMP um setup, everything. And um, it installs PHP and everything, you know. <laughs> Sorry, but well. And why do you need those things? Because if you want to follow our tutorials, you need something where you can test it out or where you can uh, simply develop something for you or for the world, and you don't want it to be remotely or something then you need to have this and to run PHP script you need this and you don't want to upload them every time right so just go on so now this plug window comes up right here um, and uh, this is asks should I add shortcuts to the stop menu desktop I say yes in my case you can say no this is not really yes so uh, should I proceed? Yes, enter. So should I should I make a portable exam without drive? Let us know. So there we go. And now we press enter. Again, enter. And then we press one and enter again. And we click in it and press X and enter again. And you will now see the exam control. This is the program we are focusing on. So here you can set up if these are services so they will automatically start when Windows starts. But in my case I start them manually. So in a patch just click start, MySQL click start too everything is running can, you can see it so well um, if um, if um, this not starts so if Apache not starts and uh, you have Skype open close Skype start Apache and start Skype again so this is then the problem and if you have any problems with Apache starting or something like that, just ask in the comments. So um, let's just test out the installation. Just type in in your browser window. Low. Come on. Local host. And then you should see exam site. Now just click on a language. I click. In, I click on English. And here you can see it. Can see the status and security. So if you can see the security and unsecure, unsecure, unsecure. If you only do, and now be careful. If you only do um, normal development for yourself on your local computer and don't um, give it free to display in the internet like you can uh, make port forwarding in your router um, if you do this then you should uh, fix these problems by clicking on that, on that link but in our cases we just want a platform where we um, can simply um, program our stuff and then upload it to a secure web server or a, a secure web service so you c you can simply um, forget all about this unsecure 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 this is not necessary right now so 
What we then have to do, or what's better to do now, is we have to um, go to our computer, go to the local disk, go to XAMPP Lite, and um, you see, you can see here htdocs, right? So just click it with the right mouse button, drop it onto here, and say create shortcuts here. And there you have a shortcut. And what else? Um, yeah. Then we go into our htdocs and simply delete everything out of here. We don't need that stuff. So if you want to secure everything, just do this PHP security thing and then drop it to the garbage can, empty recycle bin, yes. So um, that was it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something and this is how we do it, right? So thanks for watching.